Hey again, everybody. Sorry I hadn't posted in a while. I appreciate the notes that I got from Ben and others. Um, been out of town on work for a couple weeks, so now I'm back and had a chance to get started on the mogul again. I'm showing you, these are quarter-inch tree fittings from PM Research. And these are the 3 16th inch ones. These are left over from the brake piping project I did a video on. But the reason I showed this, I, I used up all my 90 degree elbows <clears throat> on the 3 16 and I only had one kit of these for some reason. So I cut out a 90 degree from this tree on the quarter inch. And the reason I did that, I'll show you what I'm doing here. I got to looking at the um, blower ring, and of course the last where we left off, I just made the blower ring and silver soldered the uh, little rivet in the end there and I hadn't drilled the holes yet. Well, I talked to John Shook, who has built an Allen Mogul, and John said to just make four 1 16th inch holes in the blower ring, so that's what I did. I had not drilled them yet, so I got that done today. And once I got that done, then I started looking at the actual blower ring and where it sits in here and figuring out the piping of it. Now, I'd made some fittings, Anyway, I thought, you know, this thing would be a lot better. Let me see if I can wiggle it in there. It would be a lot better if there's a fixed elbow that holds it in place, and then I have the part that bolts on the, um, the fitting over here where my hand is. So I'll show you why I think that. Otherwise, you'd be getting a wrench back there where the where that 90 degree elbow is. It's awfully close to the blower pipes and all that stuff. If I put the put the fitting over here to the side where my fingers are right there, um, it would be a little easier to get to, I think, a little bit more out of the way. So that's why I made this fitting up. I used a quarter inch, um, the castings for the quarter inch copper tube, but I just machined them out 3 16 and I think that'll be fine. And I made a couple of bends. I made this bend here, and I had already marked this um, so that it's a fit for. Let me put this down. <clears throat> it's a fit for the blower, three three sixteen inch blower line coming in from the cab area. And let me show you what I did here. This, um, I'm, I went ahead and left the pipe, the the copper tube, ridiculously long coming out the back here because obviously I'm going to have to make a fitting for it. But I'll be using 3 16 inch copper for other connections, like the top of the the sight glass to the blower, the little vent side. So anyway, I left that ridiculously long, and I can fabricate the, you know, when the when the rear header bar is up here, and this it's going to go to, obviously, the uh, a blower control valve, a little globe valve that'll go into the rear header. So I left it so long I can bend and manipulate that later. And I'll pull this out and you can see this is that fitting. It's kind of snug in there, which is good. But this is a little fitting that I had made before. I think I showed you all that. So we'll have that on uh, on that, I'll have to silver solder that basically in place um, tomorrow. I'm not going to do that tonight. And then I'll silver solder, I'll cut and silver solder the fitting. Here we go. I'll cut this wherever that little magic marker mark was and then silver solder that on tomorrow. So I have that silver soldered on and silver solder that elbow get that all done at once. So this will be one little self-contained unit cut off right about the area where my pinky is and then I'll be able to unbolt and unbolt it in place on the 3 16 inch line that comes in through the boiler through that stay stay tube. So I hope that makes sense and the next thing obviously is I've started making some paper templates I'll play around with the best way to do this, but I need to make a sheet metal um, seal for the bottom of that as well. So there's tonight's update. Thanks for watching.
I'll keep you posted.